In a significant legal blow to former President Donald Trump, a New York judge has ordered him, his two adult sons, and his companies to pay $364 million and barred him from doing business in New York State for three years. The Office of New York Attorney General Letitia James issued the following statement. Today, justice has been served. This is a tremendous victory for this state, this nation, and for everyone who believes that we must all play by the same rules, even former presidents. The ruling comes after the judge found that the Trump Organization engaged in a years-long scheme to deceive banks and other entities with financial statements that exaggerated the value of many of his properties. The Trump Organization said the ruling was a gross miscarriage of justice. Every member of the New York business community, no matter the industry, should be gravely concerned with this gross overreach and brazen attempt by the Attorney General to exert limitless power where no private or public harm has been established. New Yorkers have been vocal in expressing their views on this verdict. It won't affect mine because I was never going to vote for him, but I hope it will affect the vote of others. I think it's ridiculous, but I think it's the, the same thing. They're always trying to attack him, so just ignore it and keep moving forward. Former President Donald Trump is expected to challenge the verdict. Donald Trump will certainly appeal, and there's two different levels he can go to in New York. The first is the Court of Appeal. Then he can go to the state's highest court. But that's a discretionary appeal. They don't have to take the case, and they may not. And then, of course, there's always the possibility that he can go to the U.S. Supreme Court. But there's no real federal issue here. This is a state issue in New York. Romani clarifies that while Trump is required to put up some cash right away, he's not obligated to pay the entire sum immediately. Donald Trump is going to have to pay something very soon because if he wants to appeal this case, he's going to have to purchase an appeal bond which will cost a percentage of the judgment. So it's going to be a significant sum. This verdict represents a setback for Trump, whose carefully crafted image as a successful businessman has been central to his public persona and political aspirations and could have an effect on undecided voters. It's all about the independence in this upcoming presidential race. And it looks now as if uh, he's going to lose a huge chunk of them. Recent polls have showed all his legal hassles, not just this case, has dropped at least 10 points among independent voters. And that's crucial in swing states like, you know, Pennsylvania uh, and it's Wisconsin. With the presidential election less than nine months away and Trump's other legal cases, including a pending criminal indictment still awaiting resolution, the verdicts could wield significant influence on the outcome of the United States 2024 presidential election. Aaron Raynan, VOA News, New York City.